Hi everyone, I'm Russell Nimitz and it's time for another convention update here on Cattlemen to Cattlemen. Well, it's been another successful 2014 cattle industry convention and NCBA trade show here in Nashville, Tennessee. And as things begin to wind down, we want to take one more opportunity to visit with one of this year's attendees, Adam McClung from Little Rock, Arkansas. And Adam, we're actually uh, just on the heels of the Best of the Beef Awards program. You were awarded top recruiter this year for NCBA. Uh, talk about your passion that you have for this organization and the U.S. beef cattle industry. Well, NCBA being our national voice for our cattle industry here in the United States and being the largest producer cattle organization, it's just, it's, it's always been my belief that the policy and, and the good things that we do with the checkoff and with our policy that w that we work through and what we do in D.C. starts grassroots. It starts with the members and, and that's our backbone of our organization. And that's why I do get so passionate about getting more folks involved so we can have that larger voice. You're kind of an inspiration to other young men and women, too, that want to be involved with this uh, beef cattle industry. I mean, you're, you're stepping up to the plate and becoming a bigger leader at the NCBA level. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know about that, but, but yes, I would not so much stepping up to try to be a leader, but would like to have more folks, you know, younger folks getting involved, seeing the opportunities that NCBA can allow them and what NCBA is working on every day for them while they're back home with their operation. And, and hopefully can uh, push some of my passion over onto those guys as well. What are some of those issues you guys are working on back home at the Arkansas Cattlemen's Association? Uh, we have a lot of issues that we're working on policy-wise. Uh, you know, water's a big issue in our state. Um, you know, animal welfare, beef quality assurance. You know, we utilize a lot of that for our, for our policy. And then some of the national issues that we follow with through NCBA, you know, trying to get a fix on the death tax, obviously the farm bill, you know, that, that we just got done and, and some of the things we didn't get and some of the things we did, you know, it'd been really nice if we'd had FSA funded back during the drought, but you know, so we have, so anyway, we try to keep up with as much of that as we can and, and there again, go back to, that's, that's why we need the grassroots involvement so we can be strong in these issues. We've talked about the issue and the policy side. What about the trade show? Have you had the opportunity to wander through that huge trade show? This year, of course, we're in Nashville. Next year, we'll be in San Antonio. But that in itself is something to see. Oh, it's huge. It's huge. And if, if you can't find it here in this trade show, <laughs> then I don't know what you're looking for. So, uh, but yes, no, as a matter of fact, I'm headed there here in just shortly. And last question, Adam, is this convention and trade show something you'd encourage both young and old to attend? I would, I would, I would say that if you're engaged in the cattle industry, just coming here to be able to fellowship with your other cattlemen from, from all across the United States, staying apprised on those issues that we just discussed, you know, that, that are going to have effects either positive or negative at your operation back home and being engaged in that. And it takes, I go back to that grassroots membership involvement to make all this happen. Hey, thanks for taking a little bit of time. You did great. Yes, sir. Thank you. All right, Adam McClung from Little Rock, Arkansas. Reporting for Cattlemen to Cattlemen, I'm Russell Nimitz.